this is gonna be the best unboxing ever. So here they are, the Vice Golf Shoes by Adidas. About three days before they came out, a friend of mine sent me an Instagram post with the shoes, and I thought they looked awesome. I've golfed for a few years, but just this last year, I bought my first pair of golf shoes, and I don't particularly love them. So uh, when I saw that Instagram post, I knew that these were the ones that I wanted to get. I saw on the website that it was going to be a release, so I put something in my calendar to remind myself to uh, get online and make sure and get a pair. I had no idea at the time that it would be a limited edition release and that there would only be a thousand sold. That next Monday morning, got on right at the right time and as soon as I hit the website, as anyone else that got these shoes knows, uh, the website crashed. The server was down, the website was down, nothing was working. I kept at it, I knew I wanted a pair and once I saw it was a limited release, I wanted them a little bit more and I just kept trying, and about 45 minutes later, uh, trying on my phone and my computer, my phone finally went through, the page loaded, and I was quickly able to get a size 11 in my cart and check out. The package, of course, comes with the shoes, but it also comes with this 12-pack of balls, the Vice Pro uh, Lime Drip line, limited edition with Adidas as well. There are a lot of unique features about these shoes. Uh, it's the first pair of golf shoes from Vice Golf. I had usually uh, connected them with golf balls. So this is kind of their first entry into the shoes. They come in this white and gray and lime green color. The boost area on the bottom here is the same pattern as the drip lime balls. So it kind of matches. Here on the front, this is actually a, a camouflage type pattern which is in the pattern of the Whistling Straits golf course, or kind of paying tribute to the Ryder Cup. It comes with white laces already on, but it also comes with a pair of neon green, the lime colored laces as well. They mentioned that the cage on the heel has been reinforced, uh, which helps with the golf swing, having that stability uh, on your feet and it is completely hydrophobic. So you could pour a hose over the top of the shoe and they're completely waterproof. The grip on the bottom uh, is this lime green color, uh, just a spikeless golf shoe. And in my opinion, I think they look amazing. The craziest part about this, after I was surprised by it being a limited edition and actually getting a pair, I've seen a few pairs listed. I haven't seen if any of them have sold yet. I should probably follow up on that but some of these pairs are being listed on eBay for around $2,000. I guess we'll have to see if any of those actually sell. I'm super happy that I was able to get a pair. This is the first pair of golf shoes that I've actually been excited about and uh, excited to wear. I thought they looked really good and actually appealed to me so much that I set myself a reminder to make sure and buy them. And I feel lucky that I was able to be one of the thousand that was able to get a pair. It's a shame that I'm not able to take these out golfing right now. Uh, it's actually snowed in the past couple days where I've been at. Uh, so it kind of feels like a shame to get them in this winter time, but let me know if you have any questions about the shoes, uh, if you like them, don't like them, because uh, I'm pretty stoked.